Hi there, I'm Zach from Composition Critiques, and today I'm going to review Kill This Love by the South Korean girl group Blackpink. Produced by Teddy Park, Becca Boom, RT, and 24, this tune combines electropop and trap in very fascinating ways, as the intro contains resounding horns, reverberating bass, and hand claps. The bass continues to be present in the verses, as it is meshed well with the simple trap percussion and a skittering sound effect that sounds like popping bubbles. The first half of the pre-choruses has underlying synth tones and snappy percussion beats, while the second half replaced the trap drums with real drums in order to build up the tension. As for the choruses, the release is very satisfying as the horns return with the trap beats, while the trap hi-hats appear slyly like foxes in the woods. I really love the droning bass note and a crisp drum pattering in the bridge in order to symbolize the war against love theme that's been paired with the lyrics. Not to mention that the outro combines most of the elements from various sections in order to end the song with the bang. The vocals from the four ladies are phenomenal on their own and with each other, as each of them showed their strong yet vulnerable sides. In the verses, Jenny and Lisa handled their parts with ease, as the former sang with a sassy attitude while the latter exuded boss energy with her rapping in the first verse and her singing in the second verse. They also hype up the listeners in the chorus by matching the flow of their singing with the tempo of the beat through their shouting of yeah and imitating the drums. Jisoo's velvety rich singing in the pre-choruses is amazing, while Rosé's parts in the pre-choruses and Bridge are stellar, thanks to her singing in her head voice. Plus, the group's perfect harmonies in the choruses and outro symbolize how Korean womanhood can overcome the obstacles related to love. Speaking of which, I love how raw and unapologetic the lyrics are when it comes to describing the toxic partner as a devilish fool that deserves to suffer in misery for mistreating the protagonist. Thus, they have no choice but to kill this love in order to heal their emotional scars, despite missing the highs of that relationship. For more music reviews like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, drop a comment below on what other songs and artists you want me to cover. Thank you.